Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little date get ready with me. I'm very excited for you guys to see it because a lot of stuff happens in this video. Good morning. It is officially date day. That sounds kind of stupid, but today is the day that I'm going on a date. So let's get ready. Okay, the first thing I want to do is paint my nails because they look very bad and it makes me feel way more confident, so let's do that. Okay, here are my nails. They're just like a light pink color, and yeah, that's literally it. Now I'm gonna go wash my face. Okay guys, my face is washed. Now I can start my makeup. I want to look pretty, but not over the top. So I think I'm going to use like a little bit of eyeshadow and then just do my eyebrows and mascara. So I'm using this palette. Wait, it's upside down. I use this palette literally every single day. Um, it's my favorite. This lighting is really weird and I apologize. I feel like I should make it brighter, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. That's pretty. Wait. That looks good. Okay. Anyways, this is the inside of the palette. You can see it's very used. I'm just going to go in with the pink color. Let's see here. I just use like a fluffy brush like this. And I put that all over the lid. I don't know what I'm wearing, so I don't know if pink's really the best color, but too late now. Again, I'm going for something subtle, so I don't want to do too much. I think that's good enough. My favorite thing about Tarte makeup is that it literally smells so good. Um, now I'm just going to do a little sparkle all over the lid. That is way too much sparkle. Okay, holy crap. Blend that out. Okay, makeup is done. Honestly, it looks kind of terrible. Like, what is this? This eye looks really, really pretty, but then this eye looks bugged up. Even the eyebrow looks bad. I'm only saying that it looks bad because I'm nervous about today and I'm stressed. I need to relax. I need to calm down. It looks fine. It looks literally normal. I feel like I should figure out what I'm going to wear today because I have literally no idea. I also don't know what we're doing when we hang out, so maybe I should not figure that out yet. I want to do my hair, but if I curl it now, if I curl it now, all the curls will fall by the time we actually hang out. So, I feel like I shouldn't curl it yet. I'm literally overthinking and stressing so much. Maybe I should eat breakfast. <laughs> okay. Game plan. I'm going to eat brush my teeth, figure out what I want to wear, curl my hair, wait for the date. Okay, I picked my outfit. I'm wearing this black tank top from Aeropostale, and then I'm wearing these black shorts from PacSun. I might change into blue shorts just because I look a little depressed wearing all black in summer, but... I like this top, so I'm definitely going to wear it. It's cute, but it covers a lot. It's reserved, but sexy. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's the fit. Maybe if I wear like cute shoes, then I can wear black on black. I don't know though. It's like 93 out today. So if I'm wearing all black, like it's kind of weird. I'm not sure yet. I need to think about it. Okay, my hair is done. It honestly looks really good. <laughs> okay, I am officially ready. I hate when these like curls curl into each other. They need to stay separate. Anyways, 
I'm excited. <laughs> So since I'm going on a date, it's not even a date. I keep calling it a date and it's it's not a date. I literally just, okay, here's the story. I texted this guy and said, hey, do you want to hang out? He didn't reply for three days. And I was like, well, but that's my answer. But then he came to my work and he said, hey, was that you that texted me? And I said, yes. He said, I would love to hang out. I'll text you. I was like, cool. Four or five days pass, no text. So then I see him at work and I go, hey, you still haven't texted me. And he is like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I was thinking we would hang out next, next week, blah, blah, blah. I was like, mm. it kind of made no sense, but I was like, okay, don't think too much into it. Anyways, like he said he would text me. He didn't. The next day he said, are you free tomorrow night? I said, yes. He said, want to go downtown? I was like, yes, sounds great. So then he was like, okay, I'll text you tonight 100%. Um, he finally texts me that night and he says, uh, I'm busy until nine. Should we hang out during the day? But I had plans during the day. So I was like, uh, I'm not really sure. And then he called out sick and canceled our hangout. So then he rescheduled for today, which is Sunday. And I don't know how I feel about it because I'm very excited. He is a great guy, but he's already canceled on me once. He keeps saying that he's going to text me, but only has ever texted me once it's just a little fishy i'm like if you don't want to hang out that's totally fine just like be honest you know so i'm not sure how i feel about it um i'm definitely really nervous i also i'm nervous he's just gonna i'm i'm nervous because i'm scared he's gonna cancel and i'm nervous because it might go terrible and yeah oh i literally hate how my makeup looks today i look awful anyways um I think I might go to church. If I do, I need to leave in four minutes. Oh, I just don't know. I want to go to church, but I don't want to go alone. I also don't want him to text me while I'm at church and he'll be, and I don't want him to be like, hey, like I'm free, let's hang out now. Or what if he texts me and cancels again and then I'm gonna be sad in church. I don't want, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll text my mom. Should I go to church? I don't want to go alone. Well, okay. She always gives the best advice, so. Anyways, that's all. That was my little update on my love life, and yeah. So I'm home from church, and He canceled <laughs> for the second time. This bitch cancels. I'm so pissed. Actually, I really don't. I don't give a shit if I'm gonna be honest. Um, like whatever. But now, what I'm, I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with my day now? Like, um. I look so cute and I made this whole video and he cancels. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hey guys, I just got back um, from a date with the boy who canceled. Except today he didn't cancel. So he came up to me at work and said, Hey, do you want to get Froyo? And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. So we did. And holy crap, he is dull dude if you're watching this no offense you're really fucking attractive but you're not the man for me um anyways it, i mean it was fun like we had a good conversation but it just felt awkward it felt unnatural it felt forced it felt fucking weird if i'm gonna be honest i mean hello guys i have filmed this section of the video so many times and i just do not know what to say or how to say it Pretty much, I was going to give you a little update on my dating life, um, just because this this video, like the get ready for a date with me, really great video, but it's been a while since I filmed it, I pre-filmed it, um, and so a lot has changed since that date that was cancelled, um, so I was going to like come on and talk about everything, but it's hard because it's like, how much do I really say? What can I say without people like... I know seeing and anyways just to give you a quick rundown um 
I went on the date with the guy that canceled. He was very dull, no offense, but not, not my type, let's just say that. Um, one of his questions was, do you party? And I just was like, are you kidding me? Like, you really have to ask me that? It felt awkward. There was a lot of awkward silence. I was not a fan. But then I started talking to this other guy. Um, and that's going really well still. We went on a date on Monday. And then he invited me out again on Tuesday, which was really awesome. Um, I met some of his friends. It was really fun. Um, and then he asked me out again on Thursday. So yeah, it's going really well. He's really nice. I love talking to him, love hanging out with him. Um, yeah, I'm excited. That's that. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm just going to end this video here. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.